the good life. Full of fun. Hey guys, look at my kitchen. Another exciting day in my kitchen. But we're in another kitchen. We're in Vico del Gargano, Italy. We're at the villa here. Boy, I'll tell you what an absolutely gorgeous day. What a backdrop, right? We got the Adriatic Sea. And I am going to bring you such a phenomenal recipe. It's a recipe from the Amalfi Coast, originated Amalfi Coast. What do they have in the Amalfi Coast? What are they known for? Lemone. So we're going to take lemons, we're going to take some cream, we're going to take some pasta, along with some other great ingredients. It's certainly one of my secret tips, and we're going to make pasta al limone. Guys, welcome to my kitchen. Let's get to work. Okay, guys, hate to leave that beautiful view out there in the Adriatic, but we got to get in the kitchen. We got to do some cugina. I want to apologize also about the audio. Uh, obviously, here in the kitchen, in the cugina, it's going to give us a little echo. All right, guys, let's go over ingredients. This is fun. This is fast. Number one. Importante, we've got linguine. So we got one pound of dried linguine. Again, when you shop for pasta, if you can get the pasta, when you look at the ingredients and it says durum flour and water, that's it. I'll tell you, if you can get that, that's fantastic. You can use different types of pasta with this, the spaghetti, tagliatelle. I like linguine. I think it's absolutely perfect for the thickness of this sauce. Number two, limone. So we've got lemons. Now these are Amalfi Coast lemons. Look at the size of these puppies. They're like on steroids, for God's sakes. So we've got three lemons. So we're gonna basically get the zest of the three lemons, okay? Number three, we've got cream. So you're gonna use Heavy cream, like a whipping cream, but you want about one cup of heavy cream. We're gonna want about eight tablespoons of butter. And if you can use the non-salted, that would be better. Why? Because we're gonna use some other ingredients. They all have salt. So you, you wanna try to control the salt content. If you can't, don't add any salt until you taste it, just to make sure you got that perfect flavor, okay? We've got Fresh ground pepper, fresh ground salt. We got some sea salt, which would be fantastic. Now, we look at the size of this puppy. I just had to show you this. I went to the market today, and I bought here a big hunk of a Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, now I'm gonna show you right now. I had one little taste, that's it, one little taste. I could literally just chop this puppy and eat it with a little salami, It'd be fantastic, okay? Couple of more things here. One of my secret ingredients, one of my secret tips is a nutmeg. Oh, so anytime you're dealing with, um, you know, cream or cheeses in Italy, whether you're dealing with something that's um, savory or sweet, you're going to find in Italian cooking, especially in Southern Italian cooking, where those trade routes would come with all those spices, you're going to see nutmeg. So I like a little bit of nutmeg. We'll talk about that. And then we're going to want some parsley. Now the parsley is going to give us that fresh, earthy herb. So I went down the garden this morning, picked some beautiful flat Italian parsley. That's great. Last but not least, as you guys know, we're in Italy, man. We're, we are here at the Olive Grove. As you guys know, we co-op with a group of farms to bring in some of the best olive oil in the world. This is right here from my reserve stock with Vito and Joe's after my two boys, olive oil. And if you guys are looking for some of the world's best olive oil you're ever gonna have, click the link below or go to my Facebook page or go to our website, Cooking Italian with Joe, where you'll find a lot of our recipes. And if you click right there, you can order yourself a bottle of olive oil, we'll drop ship it right to your house. I call it a trip to Italy right in the bottle. All right guys, let's get going. Number one, I wanna get the water going for my pasta. So I'm gonna get a pot on the stove, I'm gonna fill it with water, I'm gonna get that water salted, and I'm gonna get that water ready to go. Okay guys, to get started on this, I'm gonna have a saucepan here, because this is a saucepan, I'm gonna start making that cream lemonade sauce, okay? Here I've got a pot going for my pasta, filled up with water and I got it salted. So as this starts to heat up, I wanna to start to make that sauce. I'm not gonna start making this sauce until my water's ready for the pasta. So as soon as you start to get a rapid boil, and you put this pasta in, that's when we're gonna start making that sauce. Pasta water is ready and going. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw my pasta right in. And then a lot of water and give it a good stir. So before I put the heat on, I'm gonna put my cream, I'm gonna put my butter, and I'm gonna turn my heat on really low. And I'm gonna stir this until that butter melts. While that's starting to warm up, I'm gonna take my secret ingredient Cooking in town with Joe, I'm gonna take some nutmeg. A 16th to an eighth of a teaspoon. And so you can see that butter starting to melt now. Once that butter is melted, I'm gonna start taking these gigundo lemone, and I'm gonna go ahead and start making my lemon zest. So again, I'm gonna take 
the lemon zest of all three of these. Oh, you know, the aroma, that perfume of the lemon is just gonna bring you right to the Amalfi Coast here. And I'll give that a stir. And then what's gonna happen is all the oil from the lemon zest and that beautiful flavor, that's gonna eke out into the oils of the cream and the butter. And you just marry all those flavors. Now you see how you're just getting a little bit of steam coming off of there? So we wanna bring it just up to the point, just to the touch of the oil. You don't wanna bring it any higher than that because you'll break it. What'll happen is you'll separate the proteins. So we wanna bring it up just to that. While that's going, I'm gonna get my pasta and they stir. Now we're gonna cook the pasta just underdone before al dente, before al dente, because we're gonna cook it a little bit in that cream sauce. Now what's happening as you cook this down is you're working off some of the liquid in the cream so it'll actually start to thicken. So once it starts to cover the back of your spoon and it'll hold a, a shape, and it's not quite there, but it's, it's right there. It's right on the edge. We're gonna let that go another minute, minute and a half. Okay, our cream is just coming together. I'm gonna shut the heat right off immediately because I don't want it to break. I'm gonna just, just a little tip, pull that off the heat just for a moment and just, just to bring it down on that temp, just for a moment. Now there's a couple of tips here. We're gonna to wanna to add that Parmigiano Reggiano, but before we do that, I'll tell you what makes this come out mm, magnifico is if you guys subscribe to my channel. So there's a red button right down there. When you click it, what it does is uh, any new recipes, any trips I got here in Puglia, Italy, uh, blogging with Boreo, it'll actually come right to your notification box. And only it makes you part of the family, you know what I'm saying? Secondly, if you haven't already, yeah, I gotta plug the olive oil, hop online, grab yourself a bottle of olive oil. You probably already did that, so not even a big issue. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back to the burner that's off. I'm gonna give it a nice gentle stir and we're gonna start adding that Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm gonna grab my Parmigiano Reggiano and I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding. Again, I'm gonna put about a cup of cheese grated. That'll help it melt. I'm gonna give it a nice gentle stir. The heat from the cream will melt the, the cheese. So what I'm gonna do is wait till it's almost, you almost can't differentiate the cheese and the sauce. You're almost there. See how it's all melted? So as soon as you're almost at the edge or right at the edge where you can't make out the cheese in there anymore, that's when we're gonna add our pasta. Now we're gonna add the pasta to our sauce, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it let it drain just a bit. It's okay that we get a little pasta water in there because we're gonna cook the pasta that last minute or two right in my sauce. So now what I'm gonna do is get it on there. And as soon as I get some of the pasta in there, I'm gonna turn my heat back on really slow. Now I got the heat on. Again, I added a little bit of liquid and I'm gonna give it a nice, slow, steady stir. Now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of Vito and Joe's olive oil. As I stir that in, I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt, maybe about half of a teaspoon, and a full teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm gonna take my finished pasta, I'm gonna put it right in the pan. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that parsley, that fresh parsley I had this morning. I just love that, that green, that color. It gives you that, just a backdrop of the grassy, herby. And, and one of the things I love about parsley is you get a, it's got a pepper kick to it. And now I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese, hit that one more time on top. I'm gonna take my pepper, and then I'm gonna take some of that parsley, just a bit. Finish it off. Hey guys, you know and I know my favorite part right here, right? So before I bring this out to the troops, you get that lemon and cream and just the flavor of that. Oh, man, that's good. Well, I wish I could put that right through the camera for you, I really do. First thing I hit you, you can get that lemon, the cream, the butter. Mmm, mm-hmm. The pasta is perfect, perfect al dente. Got that nice little tuna it. The lemon hits your nose, you know, with that perfume with the aroma. And then you get a little bit of the pepper, a little bite of the parsley, the cream, the butter. And it's got that backdrop of nutmeg. You can't even really taste it. I'll give you that earthy feel right near the end. And how simple and fast is that? I think it's time to take that bowl out to the family with a chilled glass of Prosecco with a little slice of peach in there. Oh!
looking at the Adriatic. It's going to be fantastic. Guys, thanks so much for joining me here in Italia, in the Cugina Aborio. It's such an honor to bring you these great recipes. Guys, remember, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel, make you part of the family. Make sure you go online, grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Trip to Italy right in the bottle. You can check us out on our website or our Facebook page. And guys, remember, you know, it's so great to be with your family. And I constantly always want to close and share with you guys, you know, for at least an hour, a couple hours a week, shut off the TV and the cell phone and the, and the computers and get yourself around the table with your parents or your grandparents and tell stories, celebrate your heritage and set some traditions that will last you a lifetime. I certainly know they did for me, guys. Hey, from my cucina to yours, until next week, good night, Full of fun seems to be the idea.